has so many talents that I have my staff make me a list. He is an Emmy Award winning host and performer. He is an actor. He is a producer. He is a Grammy nominated singer and songwriter. <laughs> he is a dancer. He is an author, and if that wasn't enough, he's now a reality star in the new series, Wayne Brady, The Family Remix. <laughs> All right? And not even done. Plus, he's starring in the Broadway revival of The Wiz. <laughs> Please welcome the wickedly talented Wayne Brady. <laughs> You, Wayne. Uh, you know, I love it. I'm glad you made it here safely because you biked to the <laughs> studio. You rode your bike here. I biked here. <laughs> That's real. Look at this. You didn't want to drive? No. Driving, for, for those of you that don't live in New York, and I don't live here, live here, I'm here to do the show. Yeah. You can... It takes you 20 minutes to get from here to that front door. Right. And if I can avoid it, I'll walk or I'll bike. And so it's beautiful out today. I just wanted to, to and I'm not a big thrill seeker. Yeah. So riding my bike in New York is the biggest thing that I can get to bungee jump in because you, because you can get it from all sides. Cabs and pedestrians. And you say, hey, it's the bike lane. Shut up, you. I'm like, OK. <laughs> That will, so, so that's my daily thrill. They do, but like when you're when you're riding your bike, do people recognize you on your bike? If you have time to recognize somebody on a bike, then you're just standing there. <laughs> and folks in New York just don't stand. They do not stand. They there. do not stand. But every blue moon, you you got to get off on like the crosswalks. Be because it's not a bike lane. That's when someone will go, oh, hey, it's you. And then it's awkward because you're, you're toting this big old bike and there's 50 people trying to get across the street and, th and they have no time for you to stop and take a picture with somebody. Exactly. At that point, they will slap you in the back of your head and keep it moving. <laughs> New York don't play. New York don't play. <laughs> That's the new T-shirt. New, New York. York don't play. They don't, and no, I love it no, so no. much. You gotta start. We gotta take the train together, cause I take the train all the time. I don't bike ride. I'm always on the train. Y'all find that picture of me, and I'll show it to Wayne when I'm on the train. But I take the train. I've never, I've never taken the train we gotta or the do subway it. because I have a. You're, you're in this. It's like being in a submarine above ground. Look, this is me when I take the train, Wayne. <laughs> You, you got dressed like this. We go, you bring a little lunch bag. We gonna look like we going to work. <laughs> if I take the train with you, then I want to take a boom box with me and be like those dudes. <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then jump on it and then hang on the pole and exactly. flip. That's what, that's what do. I'm going to do. <laughs> You know, I, I'm so loving that you're here. I cannot believe how our careers have really kind of mirrored each other because you had a talk show and you were fabulous Thank on your you. talk show, Wayne Brady. And you were a finalist on Dancing with the Stars. I didn't get that far, but you were actually a finalist on Dancing yeah, with man, the Stars. Yeah, man, we had a good time. You had a great time. And I did not know, you won uh, the season of Mass Singer that I was on. I went past you all the time. I didn't even know it was you. Because they made sure that nobody knew we who talk who to you. anyone was? They, they, the security on that show was amazing. I know it was. Well, and... well, because they threatened us. Remember? Yeah, that, you couldn't. That, that I don't know if you got the same threat. Threat I did. No, I didn't get the same threat. Threat the you did. The first day, the first. This I promise you, this is true. The first day of orientation, you walk into your trailer. We're all sitting, sitting there. Hey, Wayne, it's wonderful to have <laughs> you on The Masked Singer. Hi, I'm Jim. This is Tom. This is uh, uh, Mr. O'Neill. We are the legal department from Fox. Oh, we're big, big fans. Uh, just have, have a great time on the show. One thing, if you divulge any part of the show that affects the outcome of the show in any way, $5 million, we will sue you. We'll take your house. We will take your child. We'll take your dog. <laughs> we'll take your dog's house. We'll take your child's place house. We'll take the cup. I was, I was like, oh, no. That's why nobody knew that nobody I was doing smoked. that show, because I was going to keep my house. <laughs> I was going to keep my house. Two things about Wayne. New York don't play, and Wayne going to keep his house. You know? house. 
and I love I and I I I love this about you because you're constantly reinventing yourself. And now you're conquering reality TV, smashing it with your new docu-series. It's called Wayne Brady, The Family Remix. Yeah. So you got to tell us about you, this quirky family you got. So, so I have to tell you who my family is. My family in that picture, that's my daughter, Miley, who's yes. laying, laying across us. The beautiful lady next to me is my ex-wife and my business partner slash my best friend. Um, yes. she, she's Mandy. And the gentleman next to her is Jason, who is Mandy's life partner. Yes. And he also works with our company and is basically Miley's stepdad. And, right. And, and not everybody understands, because it is kind of, because if you're divorced, folks always think, oh, well, if you're divorced, y'all should just not be in each other's lives. And, yeah. and the fact of the matter that we tell people is you're seeing a very happy picture there, but it took us years of therapy okay. and years of love that, like, you, we are an intentional family. Mm. We didn't have to be in each other's lives, but, and we didn't have to be in each other's lives just for our daughter. I believe that that is a mistake when someone says, well, you should just be friends. Just, just do it for the children. No, you know what? It might be healthier for you to not do it for the children, depending on your circumstance. Really? But we needed to model for her what real friendship and real love is. Just be, I loved your mother, and I'm gonna always treat your mother with love and respect. You will not hear a bad word come out of my mouth about your mother yeah. or about me to, about me to her. Yeah. So, we were friends before you came along. I think that's important to say, we love you, baby, but that, that was my friend before you came along. Mandy was there with me when we were eating Taco Bell, broke as hell in North Hollywood, auditioning for things. Yes. We came up together. So, so we've chosen to be a family. And during the pandemic, we, we started making TikTok videos because that's, that's what we all did. Yeah. And everybody w w wanted to know why is it that your family is doing this thing? And it's because there's love. And so we had a sitcom deal, but you can't really write our story. So yes. instead, we're, we're bringing it to you. We're, we're showing you real life and oh. how a family loves together, lives together. And we need to see And we love. look like that. Look, yes. look at those brown faces. I we love look it. like that. And I love that because we need more love on TV instead Amen. of all of the fighting and the da da da. I love this. It, you know, this has been, a, a, with the reality show and everything you're doing, it's just been a really transformative year for yeah. you. I mean, you've gone, you've gone through the gamut, and I remember the big announcement when you came out as pansexual. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> as you've come out into your own, into your truth fully, do you enjoy people seeing you in a, a completely different way, Wayne? Here is the thing. I don't care. All right, now. All right. And you know what I mean by that? Yes. Right, you know, that's not me being, that's not yes. me being flippant. I got it. Before that, I cared. Mm -hmm. I cared so much. I cared so much. I cared what, uh, what people thought about if I, what shoe I would wear, what shirt I would wear. I cared if you cared about who I was with, what I was doing. I don't care. I'm too damn old to care now. Oh, that's right. I'm sexy, but old. <laughs> You are sexy, but I you know, know. I know, you know they, what I mean. You yes. can't care. So it isn't that my life has changed because I have. Oh, I'm not running all about and doing all this stuff. The best thing about that announcement, which which was part of the docu series, which you'll see, because I'm a very private person. Mm -hmm. So oh, opening my life and sharing that, and a couple other things that you'll see, a couple That's other. Big. I, 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 I'm not even gonna call them secrets. I'll say re revelations. Is that um, I just didn't want to care anymore. And the best way to not care is to just go, this is me. This is me. And that's the best thing. And now I get to help and be an example to anybody, to a young, young person of color sitting in their room, in their house, wanting to live their life, or somebody our age who, who's like, hey, I'm tired of being unhappy to this point. It's like, it's never too old. Go get your second act. Yes, that's what we talk about all the time. Get your second act. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you know what? I, I love this in your second act. Man, I, you, this is even sexier to me. I thought you were sexy before, but you're really sexy now. I'm loving this way. My goodness. Now we gotta talk about, I, and I really thought you were sexy in The Wiz. I was sitting right uh, there watching you in The Wiz. You know. Yes. They call Wayne, me The Wiz. Wayne Brady came out, I lost Wayne Brady. 
I was not even thinking Wayne Brady. You were the legendary whiz. Was this a dream role? Absolutely. Look, look at that costume, ma'am. Man, I am the. That is the biggest pimp in Oz. That is. When I tell you. That is. That is. That is not what Frank L. Baum had in mind when he wrote The Wizard of Oz. It is. It is a dream because when I saw. The Wiz movie as a kid. Yeah. Up until that point. Yes. You know the thing that I oh look at that cast. Look at this cast. The thing that I like to say is, and just speaking for myself and maybe some of the people of my generation is, past what, past Nichelle Nichols as Uhura mm -hmm. in Star Trek, black people weren't allowed to have fantasy and to imagine. Yeah. We were only allowed to be the most. Maid, slave, sex object, mm -hmm. that we were only allowed to be these things. This, you're dressed as the scarecrow. in Michael Jackson, you're, 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 yeah. you're a lion in this fantasy land. I looked at them, I listened to that music, I saw them dance and I went, I think I can do that. Oh, and, me? And that, oh. Is the, that is the beauty, we need more of that. We, we need do. more of that. But I could see when you were on stage the sheer joy. You, uh, Wayne had a dance number that, oh my gosh, it was so yummy. But the sheer joy that came when you <laughs> dance, like just being up on that Broadway stage, because you've done Broadway before. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. was this uh, different, playing the whiz? Because I could look to my left, I could look to my right, and I saw a whole cast that looked like me. Mm. And, and I can't sit, and to a anyone watching, because like you know, when yes. you read these message boards and if anyone black says anything like, oh, I was so happy to see people that look like me and black excellence, well, why can't it just be excellence? And why can't you, you know why? Because I, especially early in my career, and I know that you've been in this boat, especially when, yes. I, when I got Who's Line and a lot of other things, because I was the only me. I was, I was the only, only me. me, and I didn't even know at the time that I needed to be with the people that look like me, and I was told by the people around me, oh no, now you've made it. Because because you're the only you. No, now I've made it because I'm one of many yes, on that stage. Yes, Wayne That's how Brady. I feel. Oh my goodness. You see why I was waiting for you so long to come to the show, Wayne? I'm so happy that we worked, worked it out. I, yes. I was not gonna miss this day. I, I just have to say before I leave, I love and support you. And as somebody who sat in this seat, this job, y'all don't know how hard this job is to generate this thing and to do it naturally. Some people get talk shows and they're fake as fake can absolutely be. And God bless them. No, that's great. And I'm not, don't start any beef with anybody. I'm not saying no, anybody not in general. I'm saying I've seen people yes. and I've been on folks' couches where, hi, Wayne, so the blah, 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 blah. You, every day when I watch you engage with your audience, you love them, they love you. Do this forever. Inspire these people. That's what I love about you. Okay. Well, let me tell you what I love about you. I love that you are free, that you are walking in your truth. I love that you are pansexual because it means I still got a chance with you. Yes, you do. Right? You have that thought. Yes, we do. This one right here. She... We gotta you, go. You and Kim Whitley, we had to talk about that, but, but I'll tell you all later. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Series, you've got to check it out. Wayne Brady, the family remix. It's this summer on Freeform and then on Hulu. We're gonna have a good time.